All right, now you're asking yourself, okay, what is the point to learning to balance a redox reaction? Well, you got to be able to know to do that in order to come full circle all the way back around in order to do calculation, basically stoichiometry. So that's what we're going to practice. We're just going to do two very quick questions. Uh, I believe they both occur within an acidic solution. So here's our first reaction. You got potassium permanganate reacting with potassium chloride. Uh, notice sulfuric acid, one of the seven strong acids. So yes, we've confirmed this is occurring within an acidic solution. They react to yield this potassium sulfate. Looks like manganese 2 sulfate, chlorine gas, and water. So the question says, um, what mass of gas would form from the reaction of 100 grams of potassium permanganate. So we're starting with this, 100 grams, and we want to know what